Hangers, Captain Lance Valentine here. It is April, and one thing we can be sure of in April is we can't be sure of the weather. It can be snowing one day, it can be 65 the next day, it can be flat calm for two days, and then blow 60 for the next three days. So, we've got fish during this volatile weather time actually in a state of transition from pre-spawn to spawn to post-spawn, both on lakes and rivers. So we have fish that are kind of persnickety. We've got volatile weather. How does that affect fish? And that's what we're going to talk about this month on the Teaching Fishing Anglers Club. If you're not a subscriber, check our link right here and you can become a subscriber because next week is our workshop on wind, waves, and current things you can't see. What happens underneath the water when this weather really gets goofy during April and how does it affect fish location, fish attitude, and then ultimately your presentation. Third week, we're gonna come back and review that workshop and give you a Cliff Notes version so you have the high points and the bullet points and prepare you for our test. The last Tuesday of this month, we'll have a live Q&A so we can get you guys dialed in to understanding everything that we've taught you this month. So, let's have a few examples. We all know that wind blowing against the shore fires up the fish, right? We get the bugs dislodged, uh, the, the plankton rolls up, the bait moves in, and we get good game fish activity. But how long does it take for a wind to blow one direction until that current that the wind creates actually turns around and comes back the other way and moves fish off the shore, relocates them, repositions them, and changes their attitude? That's an important part of this. What about maybe we're fishing in shallow water? 10, 12, 15, 18 feet, we got a rock pile, it's been hot for three or four days. All of a sudden the wind shifts a little bit, blows a little bit. Is there a possibility that the wind can actually blow cold water in? Cold water is denser than warm, drop it to the bottom and reposition those fish either off that rock pile or higher in the water column. We're gonna talk about how that works too. So lots of things going on this month at the Teaching Fish and Anglers Club. Be sure you, sus be sure you subscribe because you don't wanna miss this information on wind, weather, and current, the things you can't see, what happens underwater to affect fish location, fish activity, and your presentation. All coming up this month on the Teaching Fish and Anglers Club here at Teaching Fish and